Hi, I'm Colin Roosh. I'm the Director of Policy here at Community Catalyst. Welcome to Health Policy Minute. So to put it simply, the debt ceiling is the legal limit on the total amount of federal debt that the government can accrue. The U.S. has officially reached its debt ceiling. So there's currently no deal in sight to raise the debt ceiling. Right now, many members of Congress are threatening to hold our entire economy hostage uh, and are demanding drastic cuts to numerous programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security in order to raise the debt ceiling. Well, cuts to programs like Medicaid and the Children's Health Insurance Program certainly put people in jeopardy in terms of their access to health care, and it sets back our efforts to advance health equity for all. It means tens of millions of people nationwide could uh, risk losing their health coverage in such a catastrophic event. Uh, pregnant people, low-income workers, older adults, people with disabilities, um, and populations of color will be disproportionately impacted by any cuts to those programs, let alone a catastrophic default. So right now, advocates can hold their members of Congress accountable and tell them to raise the debt ceiling. We need to protect people's access to care, and members of Congress need to know that they can't hold programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and the Children's Health Insurance Program hostage in order to uh, meet their fiscal obligations.